Morning sports fans, obviously your favourite personal trainer, Adam. Time is pretty nice, but I've got a little bit more to get through on this, so don't worry about that too much. Um, obviously, uh, we appreciate that the whole current thing is very stressful in that respect, but obviously our community with sports centre will support you as much as possible. We'll have a joke and a bit of a laugh as well, so don't worry about it, honestly, it's absolutely fine. So this is um, your Pilates session. We'll actually film for about 30 minutes, but within this session, feel free to pause it, work out the teaching point which I'm saying and I apologise if I speak too fast but unfortunately I'm a little bit eager and keen as you probably know what I'm like in my classes. Okay so to start with all we're going to do nice and slow we're going to make sure we have a relatively kind of wide stance so if you do have a mat it will be kind of feet just over the width of the mat. Okay so also make sure the feet <coughs> pointing in the same direction as the knees that kind of perpendicular angle. So nice and slowly all we're going to start doing is engage that pelvic floor, so suck up your tummy a little bit, squeeze in that way, just relax your shoulders down, okay? And we're just going to warm up the inside of the thigh, okay? With all your duct muscles as well, so take your time, nothing too crazy. So also make sure you try to look towards the, the bent knee, so nice and slow, we're going to really try to get the mobilisation through the inside of the thigh. Okay, just to increase the intensity, so look towards that bent knee, turn around, there's a song about that. Then you lift up the toes, the hand slides down, that sexy hand slides down. So you intensify the stretch, you feel it more into the kind of the bravis or the longest. So you might even feel it in towards the knee, into that gracilis. Okay, so nice and slowly, let that sexy hand slide down. If you need to, you can pop your hand down nice and slow. So again, we'll go to the other side. So now look towards that bent knee, then the straight leg, then that sexy hand slides down, lift up the toes, and you can feel that intensity. Just be careful there's not too much pressure on the medial collateral ligament to the inside of the knee. So that's why you must try to rotate the knee slightly as you rotate the knee. Obviously the ankle rotate as well. So nice and slow, guys, as well. You can do the same thing if you want to. You can go a bit further down. So pop your hands on the floor. I'm very fortunate. I've got a monkey arm, so it's a bit, a bit easier for me than probably other people. So nice and slow. Go nice and low. I appreciate I have the flexibility for cats, so don't worry too much. You can always let the hands slide down again if you want to. Nothing too crazy. Okay, we'll do one more. So we go down, chin up, keep that beautiful breathing going through, and then the hand slides down if you want to, or you can support. As you notice, I'm onto my toes, heels up, toes pointed, and we're just pushing down slowly. So you're gonna feel it really high up into the inside of the groin. It's called your pectineus, okay? Nothing too crazy. Now from this position, as we've warmed up and mobilized the inside of the thigh, straighten the legs, the feet still point, in the same angle of the knee, so you point your feet that way and try to push out, it's going to hurt the knees. So make sure the knees, ankles, and toes follow the same way. So straight legs, don't look at my chicken legs too much, people. You can avoid that, please. Thank you. Obviously, I just skip leg day, doctor's orders. So chin up, this is your chin, chest, hands, and thighs. Stick out the money maker, call your bottom, whatever you want to call it, and chin up. Feel that deep stretch. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to scoop the feet all the way forward. As you guys should know, in my Melvin class, so toes apart, heels apart. That's roughly shoulder width apart. Chin up, chest up. Beautiful. I should probably look over my shoulder really. That would make the people happy, yeah? Nothing too crazy, come on, nice and slowly. Okay, cool. So when we're going for that kind of side bend, the key is to let the hands slide down. Feel the stretch from here. Then, as the hand's sliding down, you're still engaging the pelvic floor. Then we're all going to look cropped up on today. Don't worry too much about that. So, we're from here. We now then, you should feel the stretch. Now, we then lengthen the arm, my ridiculously long arms, and then we feel the stretch. Nothing too crazy because we're still just warming up the sacroiliac joint just from here. Okay, so we can't go straight into it because the reality is we won't be mobile and we'll probably hurt ourselves. So, again, we go for that stretch, feel the stretch through the teres major and the minor, a little bit for the lats and also for the serratus. I haven't got much of the serratus, but I've got a little bit, which is fine. Lengthen and then go a bit further. Okay, then again, on the second round, you can mobilize a little bit more. As you can see, my arm is lengthened, then I'm really stretching it, the arm is straight. This is not a straight arm, by the way, straight. Okay, now we feel that little bit more flexion through, nothing too crazy, and then we go again. Nice and so you really feel that beautiful deep stretch. Okay, so from this position now, we want to stretch between the trapeziums, which is literally from here, the traps, go down to mid back. Within that, you have your scapula and your spine, okay? The scapula, cross over shoulder blades. There's the rhomboids, which is the deeper layer to the trapezium. So the best way, as you guys should know in my class, nothing, this is nothing revolutionary, it should be relatively easy because you guys have done it, it's just me 
kind of a bit of a joke and give you some extra love. So we take a big hug, really hug it out so you can feel, again, see my cat-like spine, feel that beautiful stretch. Now, grasp the arms, it's in like a power ranger, nothing crazy. So push it all forward, feel that beautiful deep stretch. You have a slightly bent knee, don't worry too much about engaging the tummy. So you can see the flexibility through my spine. Okay, now, as you're pushing forward, the shoulders are pushing forward, the elbows are pushing forward, and you feel that deeper stretch. As you're pushing up, you feel that stretch radiating down the latissimus dorsi, lats, breathe under the normal people, and then you feel that beautiful big stretch again, and then we go up into a diamond position to the hands. Again, we pop the hands, sort of over the back, we kind of into that lumbar spine. I appreciate you might not be able to go that high, feel a little bit more comfortable. If you struggle, no problem. We go a little bit lower, continue the flexibility, and then what we do, we squeeze the shoulder blades together. Okay, and also you squeeze the elbow. So you've got to stretch through your subclaviolus, posh word for sub generally below, claviolus, clavicle, and you feel the stretch through also the pec minor, a little bit of pec ranger. Beautiful big squeeze again, and wherever you go back, you must do the opposing muscle group. So then we hug it out for that beautiful deep stretch and then push it forward. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to push up again, just bring the shoulders back and relax. What the hell has happened to my t shirt? It's a bit embarrassing. Cool. We're going to keep rolling it back, everyone, nice and slow. So now we're going to protract. Boom, posh word for pulling the shoulders back. Okay, we're going to lift up, up the neck, chin is forward, okay? You don't want this chin like this. I hear people saying, why does my neck hurt? I couldn't imagine why your neck would hurt. Okay, cool. So from this position, chin like that, shoulders back, I'll turn this as a camera, lift up the chin and just relax the left ear. The shoulder. Make sure you don't then lift up the shoulder because you don't get a stretch. You end up doing a really odd, weird dance move. So lift up, left side, left ear, control, breathe, relax, right ear, right side. Now from this position, you can go the opposing way and the back, or you can keep that length, keep that stretch running through. So almost like a half circle up, and then lift up again. Right ear, right shoulder. And if you slightly rotate upwards, you'll feel the stretch through, it's called your levator scapula, okay? Which attaches, which is onto the pointy part of your shoulder blade, and it all the way up into the back of the neck, into the, um, the, into the splendid sedisis. You've got the capitus as well, and then to the higher part is your suboptical process. It's not unique to know that, but I, I'm getting paid for this, so I need to have some form of element of knowledge within this as well, okay guys? So beautiful, just relax as well. Marvellous. Okay, as you guys know, there's 15 other exercises you can do, but obviously within the remit of time, at some point we'll probably do another video and then we'll put the other exercises in as well. Marvellous. Okay, so now from this position, if you want to, you can, as you guys know, I haven't done this in a while, but it'd be absolutely fine. So you can rock back and forth on your heels and then your toes, so nice and slowly, so you start feeling that balance point. So this should be the weight, should be evenly balanced, through the balls of your feet and through the heels. So keep that posture again, pelvic floor up slightly. So suck in your tummy, squeeze in your waist, and that is a good posture. Even when you're at home gardening, painting, which I expect we'll probably all be doing for a little while. So it's that core engagement. Nothing too crazy so far. So in this position, we're going to actually now relax our core, but also we're going to squeeze our waist in. Okay, imagine you're squeezing yourself into a tight belt, something you wore last night, I don't really want to know the ins and outs of it, but you get the opinion of what I'm trying to say. So squeeze your waist in. So when you go down, as you squeeze your waist in, there's a strong muscle called the transverse abdominis, as I'm sure you probably know anyway. Feel free to Google this if you want to, just to make sure I'm not actually lying. So I'm a man, so who really knows what the truth is. Okay, so within this, okay, so your transverse abdominals goes from the belly button and wraps all the way around your spine for stability and support. So the most important thing in every doing a Pilates move, anything at home, picking up Lily Tim, Lily Jane, whatever it might be, your grandchildren, whatever it is. So it physically squeeze in your waist. As you're squeezing in your waist, that engages your transverse abdominals, okay? It's quite difficult. It's sometimes quite hard to actually find that, but you got this. So as you're squeezing that in, it'll protect the lower of your spine. It's there to give the stability and support. Now from this position, don't worry too much about engaging the pelvic floor, because obviously we'll probably need to run, run and go spin the penny. So don't worry about that too much. So we go down, so we protract forward, we squeeze in our waist, okay? Hopefully you can see my little bit of love handles, which is no problem. So chin on the chest, 
relax the shoulders down but squeeze in that waist everyone nice and slowly as we're coming down we're bending knees as well so there's not too much pressure on that lower back into that lower back but also you're squeezing nice and slow so now from this position you should have into that angle your rib cage resting onto your thighs so now we can just totally relax got me up here nothing too crazy now from this position just relax the shoulders as we can see how floppy my arms are now we keep that core engaged we still squeeze in that beautiful waist you guys have got nice and slowly then we straighten the legs we squeeze in the waist then we're coming up nice and slow great work we're going to go down again so protract forward squeeze in the waist so this is called flexion so we bend the knees slightly and we're going to come down again nice and relaxed beautiful so within this if you want to i'll just kind of scoot this way and back into the mat so from this position if you require it you can then walk your hands forward into a downward dog so make sure you push your hands nice and far forward so then you can rock back feel that pressure through your calf muscles okay so alternatively if you want a different stretch you can lift up the heels rotate the calf muscles round or rotate the ankle round and you feel that deeper stretch. You might even feel it through your soleus, which is on the outside of the wall, through the gastrocnemius, whatever it might be, or if you're lucky, the perineums. Okay, you can rotate again if you want to, drive your heels medially, pass right to the center, and drive back to it. Beautiful. Okay, now from this position, we can go down, drop to our knees, keep that core engaged, hands either side of the mat, and chin up. Okay, what you've noticed, I'm not doing this, I'm not sticking my back the, in the opposing way. So we're sucking up our tummy from the front from the back, squeezing, holding the strongest weight you've ever had in your entire life. I'm gonna slow that. Beautiful. Okay, now from this position, chin up, chest up, engage that core, be powerful, be strong, beautiful people, nice and slowly. Come up. Now from this position, if you want to, you can move the hands back, roll back, bend your knees, keep that core engaged slightly, and then come up, do a very slow, roll up okay or you can go down you don't have to come up and down all the time it's very much entirely up to you so again you're squeezing in your tummy you're sucking your waist go onto your elbows okay now this is perfectly fine as a pilates plank don't worry too much about your toes at the moment that's not that important if you're being strong and powerful lift up the bottom keep that core engaged it's not this it's not this because you'll put it back across a bad message i've got my bum in here okay so we're rocking forward we're controlling Okay, nothing crazy. If you hold this for about three deep breaths, take a beautiful big deep breath in. You can hear my slightly wheezing chest. It's fine, no problem, nothing wrong with me. Oh, I'm absolutely fine. So keep that pushing forward if you want to. If you want to hold it for longer, that's fine. You can drop to your knees, keep that core engaged, nice and strong, keep that power. Nothing, nothing too exciting now. So now, hands nice and far apart, and we're going into the pose of the child. Okay? So draw back. Don't, the key of the pose of child, you want to stretch through the teres major and the minor, so arms lengthen, okay, it's not this, we're not stretching out the lower back at the moment, we're keeping the arms as lengthened as we can, and we're sinking down, back through. So from this position, I can really feel the stretch through my teres major and le minor, when there's a minor, there's always a major, and vice versa, it's like a relationship, there's always a major and a minor, and the relationship's up. Nothing crazy again. So, we sink back into it, to encourage the stretch, we put our head between our arms. Nothing too crazy. Okay, now from this position, we can creep both of our arms to the right hand side, and then all that's going to do is going to intensify the stretch underneath our arms because it's all about mobility. Things like frozen shoulder often comes from the teres major and the minor not having that full range of movement. So again, we're breathing, we're opening up our rib cage, we're relaxing. So do that for maybe three or four breaths. Really focus, and obviously deep, deep, deep breathing will get rid of any forms of anxiety you may be feeling at the moment. So as my box description show, probably not that professional as you probably know. Okay, so now we're gonna keep the pressure, we're gonna keep that length through the entire thing. Okay, now we sink back into it. If you want to, you can rotate your thumb over so both palms are almost touching, so you intensify that stretch again. Nothing crazy, nothing revolutionary, it's just about being sensible with it. Okay, so now we come up into a four point kneeling position. Again, as I said many times in my classes, it's just a posh word for basically being on all fours. But I just want to say that because it's unprofessional, especially when you get a class full of wood and I can't really say that. Beautiful, okay, so everything is nice and stacked. So hopefully, obviously my flexion, my fingers crossed, it's all nice and stacked. So 
knees start underneath the, <coughs> the acetabular femoral joint push forward for your hip and again wrists elbows underneath your glenohumeral joint push forward for the shoulder okay so most people end up like that so don't worry about engaging your core you need to suck up a tiny bit and squeeze in the way suck up from the front from the back some pelvic floor engagement squeeze in the waist then we focus on that beautiful catch straight because it's about that mobilization through the spine as you can probably see Again, my cat-like flexibility, you can see the arch through my back because it's all about joint mobility. Okay, because so many people don't rotate enough, don't do these things. So if you wake up in the morning with really bad lower, with really bad lower back, the best thing is get on forward. Part of my thing is if you're doing something different, but please assure them that they're not. So we really flex onto that. If you want to, you can come up onto your fingertip and encourage that beautiful cat stretch. As I said, again, in many classes you don't see a cat with a bad back. <laughs> Just doesn't happen because one the flexibility and plus they just keep every time they wake up they stretch they do big beautiful cat stretches like that so it's all part of it okay so once you've done the cat then you can do the cow this is extension if you do hyper extension this could be bad for your back so keep that beautiful move going okay so when you find that neutral spine not too much cat not too much cow suck up your tummy squeeze in your waist okay so now we draw a line in the sand with our left hand and the right leg Engage that core and we lift up. We're re-engaging that core. As I'm pushing through, I'm feeling my rectus abdominis, my ab, my six pack. Well, that was a long time ago now. But anyway, we engage that core. Now suck up, squeeze in. Imagine someone like my father, big chap, bless him, is trying to push towards you. So engaging that core, you're creating your own tension through the entire thing. Then you can push out if you want to. Then you put your hand down, then bring back. Alternatively, you can lengthen it up. Engage that core and take your time, really focus. Maybe you can do this three times, four times, but go for the same side. If you're more of a beginner and you're struggling, it's not a problem. If you're super engaging the pelvic floor and also your rectus abdominis and squeezing your waist in, doing this, this puts like just a leg slide or a hand slide, is perfectly fine. So this is not extremely advanced, but there are things to make it more advanced. If you guys have been in my class before, you know how to make it a little bit more challenging in a positive performance driven manner. Mark, so do a few of these, engage the core. We, it's not a quick pumping, that's not Pilates. It's engage that core and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, push. Five, four, imagine you're pushing a big boulder away, create your own tension. Beautiful. And then we finish, bringing it back, back to neutral. So within that again, we're going to draw a line in the sand with our hands. And lift up. The key with this one is when people lift their leg too high and then that arches the back. So that core engagement. So literally it's nothing crazy. The leg should go up three or four inches. Whether that's a man three inches or a woman three inches, it's not up to you. No problem. Okay. So again, don't rotate the hips. Keep everything as much in line as possible. Beautiful. Now from this position, hand forward and go back into the pose of the child on this one, I actually want you, if you can, to sink your glutes from your bottom into the car. So, arms relatively long, nice and straightforward. I'm stressing, I'm stressing, sweating. This is commitment to this video. So, we push down and we just relax. Beautiful. I'm going to have a little more sweat coming down. Joy's been having long hair. I'm just happy I've got the bloody stuff to be honest with you. Cool. Okay, now from here, this is called a less one dive. I appreciate you guys might not have a block. It's not a problem as we use that normal plastic block. Give me two seconds, I'll quickly go grab one for you. Okay. The block. So, if you haven't got one, just use a pillow at home. It's nothing crazy. But then some people will struggle using the block because it's all about their neck alignment. If you're one of these people and this is uncomfortable, that's fine, you probably don't need a block because the point of the class is keeping the neck in line, the cervical spine, then the cervical spine goes into the thoracic spine, then the lumbar, sacroiliac joint, then the coccyx, so you get the cushion. Okay, so in this position, if you have a block, great. If you don't, you've got a mat, roll it up, tea towel, even a small child will do. Cool, so in this position, okay, forehead onto the block, beautiful. Thumbs, in line with the tops of your ears, hopefully you're roughly in line. Beautiful. Okay, so now, we push our pubis bone towards the mat. So if you don't know what the pubis bone is, which is fine, it's really not a problem. Basically squeeze your bottom towards the mat, okay? Retract 
the shoulder blades, that posture again when I was up, doing the roll ups and roll downs, contracting back. So your thumbs in line. So bring the thumbs up, squeeze your shoulder blades. The thing is sometimes you guys make the mistake, you don't squeeze enough, you do that, and as you're pushing forward, so the point is to stretch through that chest to strengthen the rhomboids. So posture is the most important thing. As you guys can probably appreciate, come to my classes, a few of you for about three years, which again, always appreciate your support. So that's the key. If you want to, pause the video, get yourself in line, get your partner, your husband, your wife, your mistress, your madam, your son, your daughter, whatever it is to help you, because then they bit of fun as well, and everyone needs postural correction, let's be honest about this. Not that I'm assuming too much. Beautiful. So, in this position, pubis bone towards the mat. Toes, like this, pointed towards the glutes, okay? But just be, there you go, guys, just be comfortable. So, we we'll the shoulder blades back, squeeze them back. Now, we don't push down. We slowly suck in the tummy, squeeze in your waist, so you can probably see there's a hollow where my tummy is, okay? I appreciate you might not have that if you're engaged in that core, but it's fine, just you've got to start somewhere. Okay, you hear sometimes you've got to come on teasers, but then there'll be lots of method marketing everywhere. So, retract it back. Okay, forehead onto the block. Now, suck up, squeezing in, and we're slowly, we're breathing, we're engaging the traps, the latissimus dorsi. We're breathing a beautiful, great posture, working through the rhomboids as well. You're going to feel that stretch, maybe a potential little bit of a pinch to there. Then we're going to bring it back nice and slowly, engage that core, keep breathing, pushing forward nice and slow, guys. Really focus when you get tired because this is very oxygen heavy, you might drop. If you feel you're dropping after the first one, relax, everything, go floppy. Suck up your tummy, squeezing the waist, push your pubis bone towards the mat, toes pointed in, suck up, retract, and then go again. Nice and slow, but again, you can pause this. I would do it for maybe... So, as an example, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5 times, depending on your ability and how much you want to work. Beautiful. Okay, so now the progression for this, if you want to, as you guys should know, we can suck up tummy, squeeze in the waist. We can retract back. We can then lift up one arm more than the other. But when you lift up one more than the other, don't let the other arm drop so you're doing, so you're like an aeroplane. Is that control because muscles work singly, they're not, they don't, both shoulder blades don't work together. So you can lift up one more than the other, bring it back, lift up more again. If you want to, this is up to you. Lift up through the legs, but using your core to lift up your legs. It's not revolutionary, guys, if you're using your legs to lift up your legs. This is not this is this is an easy thing to do, but making sure using your core to engage your legs and using that lower abs just to lift up the legs slowly. From this position, retract it back, push it forward, or one at a time. But make sure the other one doesn't drop. Okay, then you can lift up from the thoracic spine, basically the lower of your cage, in that regard, and then push it forward. Nice and slowly engage that core. If at any point you're doing the slightly harder ones, drop the legs or excuse me, don't lift up from the thoracic part, because if you get a pinch in the lower back. One of your bones is not used to it. The sacred iliac joint or SI joint is not ready for it, so be sensible. God, sweat my eye. Cool. Now, for this position, you can do it three or four times, like I said, pause the video if you need to. Now, from here, we come up and go back into the pose of a child, nice and slowly. If I can put myself a little bit further forward, keep an eye on the camera. Beautiful. Cool. Okay. Great work. Okay, so now from this four point kneeling position, you can cross the feet over and then sit onto your bottom. If that's too much like hard work, which I'd appreciate, you might have flexibility as I tried this many times in Pilates and for three years it's never worked. But this could be your time to change. So if you want to, you can just go onto your side. Again, nothing too crazy. Oh, I'm sweating one out. Beautiful. Okay, so from here, we can do like a mermaid stretch as well before we get into like the main, the main exercises, okay? So, hand on the ankle, hand forward, lift the arm up, keep that length and keep it stretching all the way through. So it might be a little bit of internal and external oblique, so you're really feeling that beautiful deep stretch. So, mermaid stretch with blokes, maybe women, but it's a mermaid stretch, as you can imagine. So you go for the same side, take your time, suck up your tummy, keep that length, arm lengthen, keep that beautiful deeper stretch, take your time, focus, okay, nice and so it's not... And then that's not the Pilates way. So nice and slow. So take time, swap it, swap it aside. 
relax. So keep your posture for the reason, but the key is to stretch and then feel that stretch. If it hurts your knees, which potentially might do, you can have a little bit straighter. Alternatively, you can lift up. You won't quite get the intensity to the stretch, but if it's painful, life's about consequences. Benefits, if the benefits and consequences. If the benefits outweigh the consequences, all good. If the consequences outweigh the benefits, I wouldn't do it. If it hurts your knee doing something, why would you do it? There's 15 million alternatives. Now, it's beautiful. Now, you've done your little mermaid stretches, mermaid stretches. Happy days. Cool. Okay. Like I said, you will not use the ball because the chances are you haven't got the ball in that respect. But if you ask John, I'm sure he might lend you one at a very small and reasonable price. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Now, we're going to start doing the roll down. Okay, we're not going to anything too crazy to start. And I will start, I will, before I go all the way down for the roll down, I'll do a little bit more stretching through the lower back. Okay, and hopefully you guys are with me. Again, I hope I'm not talking too fast, but press pause if you want to. Okay, crazy. Okay, so point the toes, suck in the tummy. Squeezing the waist, so arms come up and over. The reason why you point your toes into a plantar flexion, if he goes into um, a dorsiflexion, all will happen. You think, oh my god, my hamstring. So we're not stretching the hamstrings, we're stretching the lower back. Point the toes, arms come up and over, sucking your tummy, squeezing your waist. Beautiful flexion, okay, nothing crazy. If you can put your chin onto your chest, that's fine, it might stretch too much. Do what you can with the reason. So nice and slowly, relax the shoulders. I guarantee a few of you watching this, you'll be like, I am relaxed. I'm like, no, you're not. Just think what I was like you know, in the class. Just relax the shoulders, okay? Chin on chin. I appreciate it. I'm quite grateful. So nice and slowly come down. So from this position, I can feel the stretch all the way through my trapezius, also through my rhomboids, and that kind of metal, kind of thoracic spine where basically where the three arms are. So nice and slowly come down, nice and slowly. It's all about mobility. Come up, if you're struggling, just come to a 90 degree angle. It's really nothing is a problem. All fun and love. Nice and slow. So as you can probably tell, the more I do it, relax your shoulders, suck in the tummy, draw back, use your core to draw back so you get the stretch. So what I notice is every time I do this, my back is loosening up, I'm getting more mobility, my muscles are becoming a lot more lengthened, so I can physically actually go further again. Very long arms, touch your toes, Adam, no problem. Cool, just relax. So now you can relax again. Beautiful, come back again, nice and slowly. Keep that core engaged, just relax. Really focus on your breathing. Do not hold your breath at all at any point. Okay, and I said we'll do some lower back stretches in a minute, but we'll do a full roll down first, and why not explain it correctly. So, chill on chest, suck up your tummy, squeeze in your waist. You see the flexion through my spine. Tummy then suddenly pops out, Really, you need to start again or engage your core. Or if you've got a bit of fabric, you can slowly lower yourself down. So chill on the chest, create that C-shape through. Beautiful. And then arms go in and suck in the tummy. Get that beautiful deep stretch. Now again, protract forward, point those toes again, suck in the tummy, squeeze forward, and then we're coming up. If you have lower back problems, the worst thing you can do, not that any of you have done this much thing a few times, you'll be like, oh, I can't get up, I can't get up, because in essence, that will hurt you back, and we do not want that. Part of exercise is to not hurt. Again, going back to consequences and benefits. So if you're struggling, just roll onto your side, nothing crazy, and then come back up. Okay, so we go down again, point those beautiful little toes, and then we can go flat, or we can come up straight away. As we're coming up, we're going to have our feet nice and far apart. Marvellous. Hopefully I've got some, <coughs> hopefully you can't see too much on it. So point those toes again, right, uh, sorry, left, <laughs> left foot, left ankle, arm comes up, and over to feel that beautiful stretch. This is stretching the quadratus lumborus, okay? Posh word for the lower back. It attaches roughly, where are we going to see? It's kind of literally kind of from the spine, and goes all the way basically down to your hip. You can see my back there, so don't worry about that. Try not to judge me. Don't put too many nasty comments. <laughs> okay, so quadratus lumborus from here, roughly to the hip, okay? So the key for this one, beautiful, big stretching, point those toes, although it's too much hamstring, it will actually quite hurt. So point those toes, keep that fluidity, Breathe as I move my hair over, a bit sweaty. Cool, then keep that beautiful length coming through again. Nothing crazy. Pause at any point. So every time you can see, I'm lengthening more, I'm keeping that arm straight, and then as opposed to going there, this is enough, I'm keeping that length from all the way. So keep your core engaged, but don't overstretch. So overstretching creates more issues than, not quite more issues than not stretching, but there's a balance, as I'm to myself. You've come over again, keep that beautiful length, do this two, three times, pause it, whatever you want to do.
Oh, good. Okay, cool. Now we're, we're going back to the roll down again. Cool. Okay, so point the toes, suck in the tummy, squeeze the weight, chin onto the chest, and now from here we're going into a seal stretch. Okay, so <clears throat> from this position, tricep go the inside of the thigh abductors. Then your forearm goes by the inside of your calf, then your arms wrap around. Okay, I won't obviously put, point myself towards the camera because no one wants to see that. Okay, so feel that stretch really. If you want to, you can use the elbows just to encourage that stretch. Take your time, nice and slowly. If my head is up, which it is, relax it down if you want to, or use that pillow which you might already have and feel that intensity to that stretch. Okay, nothing too crazy so far. It's a great stretch to do. Now, what you need to do is pop our feet on the floor. Splendid. Okay, just move myself down a little bit. Okay, so now we're sucking up our tummy and squeezing on our waist. We're raising our right leg into a tabletop position, pointing those cheeky little toes, and also the other leg marries and matches it. Okay, so you can see the notch in my back. Shorten your ribs to your hips, there's no arch in the back naturally. That means your head might come up. If your head doesn't come up, it is ridiculously hard to shorten your ribs to your hips, but the point is to not arch the back. Some people have a neutral spine, a bit of an arch, but my point is where is the line, where's the limit, okay? So everyone's happy to look good. So imprinting, shorten your ribs to your hips. Okay, if you want to shut those up, Keep that core engaged, nice and strong. Beautiful, suck it up, people. Now, you can, as you guys know, suck in the tummy, engage that core, just push right or left leg, we'll go for left leg, it's probably easy to see. Now slowly engage that core, hand onto the thigh. Engage that core. Don't have the leg straight, because you might get a popping sensation on the inside or the outside. If you want to know what that is, just send John an email, I'll forward it to you, because I haven't got time to explain all the amazing things which you might feel or the bad things you might happen. So don't keep the leg straight. Now bring it back, nice and slowly. Push it forward, hands on the thigh again, nice and slow, breathing. Use the ball, support my neck if you want to, or a pillow, again, or a small child. Beautiful, then bring it back. Same again, nice and slowly. Beautiful. Okay, do this for five seconds, four, breathe, engage the core, three, print, imprint the mat, two, one, and then you can do the other side. You can do the same side, five times, three times, two times, one times, pause it. Remember the teaching point, short ribs to the hips, so naturally it means you have to literally force your back into the floor. Imagine you've got a big wave, or again, my poor father, and he's 19 inch day, bless him, he's sitting on his tummy, and then you won't lift it up, because you, I don't think you understand the point. Okay, so the next move, again, I'm gonna use this head, this ball to support my head. So from this position, you can pop your arm around one leg. Point those toes, engage that core nice and slowly. Imagine you're dropping your heel into warm water. So point those toes, beautiful posture, nice and slowly. The leg can be bent straight, let's not be too bothered about this. Beautiful, and then you can come up. You can have the legs bent if you, will, if you want to as well. Nice and slowly, engage that core, breathe, focus, squeeze in. Because then we can all use our legs to lift up and down, but the, core, the key is pelvic floor engagement, that beautiful strong back. Nice and slowly, beautiful, okay and then I will stop there. But you can do three one side, four the other side. You get the idea. If you're struggling, oh my God, you're shaking, your nervous system is telling you to do one. Do one, take some big deep breaths, relax. But the key is breathing, as you guys know, I've said many times before. We hold our breath because things hurt, but it makes sense to not hold the breath because in terms of you know blood pressure shoots up and a variety of other sorts of things. Now from this position, if you want to, go into that seal stretch again, chill out. Whilst you're chilling out, take some beautiful, long, thin air breaths and really try to relax as best you can. Again, this is nothing too crazy. Marvellous. Okay, now from this position, I'm going to go into a shoulder bridge. If you have a pillow, definitely get rid of the pillow, okay? Because nothing as good will happen if you're lifting your pelvis up. Okay, so, suck up our tummy, squeeze my waist. Thighs, a good couple of fists width apart. Hands on the floor. Now we're going to tilt our pelvic floor, our pelvis towards the ceiling. And now slowly, we're going to lift up. So lift up the sacral iliac joint, okay? Lumbar, thoracic. And then we're coming up. We're strengthening that back. We're engaging our core. Okay, nice and slow. We're going to breathe. Then if you want to, you can lift up a leg. Or we can have the leg nice and upright. But it's up to you, depending on your level. Often, because drip, drop back, you let the kind of pelvis slap. Strong pelvis. Okay, I'll go down. So nice and slowly. Tilt the pelvis again. Feel that stretch running through. Because through your rec fam, there's quite a few other muscles. But Speaking, we'll learn that another time. So we're coming down, we're sinking down. Okay, you can see from a thoracic 
We're coming down into my lumbar, into my sacral iliac joint again. Okay, so now we're going to suck up, squeeze in the waist, suck up the tummy, pelvis towards the, um, towards the ceiling as a pelvic tilt. We're going to suck up, we're going to squeeze it, and then the arms can come up and over if you want to. If your knees are quite far apart, you can always squeeze the knees together. Be careful if it hurts, consequences and benefits. Again, guys, you feel the most strange, slightly odd sensation running through, literally through your glutes, running up through the inside, which is a good kind of slightly muscular building manner. You put arms like there, squeeze the knees together, arms away, hold it for maybe a few seconds, that's not hold your breath, hold the squeezing of the knees, and then you're relaxing, and then you're coming down, and then you bring your knees to your chest. Within that, probably time to have a little bit of stretch, depending on how tired you are. We literally drop your right knees, or sorry, you drop both knees to left hand side, and your arms go the other way. Do not commit to start with, because we're just again mobilising that sacred iliac joint. Maybe do this once, two, three, four times, and then eventually, as all good relationship, you should then commit. Three. So now just relax. So just relax, feel that stretch in the lower back. Don't hold your breath, breathe, just let the body go floppy, you'll get a better stretch. Hold it, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30, 40, whatever you so choose. There's maintenance stretches, there's development stretches, but if you wouldn't bored the next few days, whatever, you'll get better stretch. Now swap other side nice and slowly. Again, you do same side or both sides in that respect. You can have the legs lower down, high down, whatever you want, it's, there's no right or wrong. Beautiful, now we're going to come back. Splendid. Okay, so now we've got better space than this. Marvellous. Okay, so now we're going to progress into a little bit more challenging. I'm hoping you should be mobile and you should have now the energy to do it. Make sure you have some food before you do it. Give it a step an hour, although you might be quite tired. But then if you're into this kind of like faster dieting, it's up to you. Just be sensible. Okay, so now we're going up into a tabletop. So we're sucking our tummy, we're squeezing on our waist. Shoulder blades are up. Do not have a ball behind you because if you, when you go up into the teaser, which is our next move, it doesn't roll back onto it because nothing good happens from that. So engage that core, palms in line with the outside of the knees. Suck up your tummy, squeeze in your waist. As you're pushing your knees forward, the shoulder blades and the palms follow it up into a teaser. You can have a bent leg teaser or a straight leg teaser, okay? So then you can go down again, but as you can see through this video, it's all about flexion through the spine. My spine is constantly, from here, it's touching, 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 touching from here again. So, suck up the tummy, squeeze the waist, breathe, push it, push, 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 shoulder blades, knees, palms follow from here. Beautiful, okay, you can have the legs high, legs bent, legs a bit lower. If you're struggling again, you can simply just keep that beautiful posture, palms follow the line of the knees, and push it forward, and then you can go onto your feet. So, literally, onto the calves and through the hamstrings. Do this now, I'm just watching my hamstrings. Marvellous. Cool, splendid. I don't know why they've been working out. That was cool. Okay, so you can go back again if you want to. If you're doing that small simplified version, and go back to a roll down, as you can see, or go into the teaser, control, then sink it down, nice and slow, and then go into the seal stretch, or bring your knees to your chest, and really just try to stretch that out. It is up to you. I think Simon's done also a class a few days with some slightly more simple moves, which they're also fantastic because if you don't get simple moves right, then realistically you shouldn't progress. Then you can have a go, but just be mindful, but have some confidence when you do these slightly more daring moves. Okay, nothing too crazy. So we'll do a little bit more back stretching. So leg up into a tabletop. So right hand or left hand, depending on which side you are, lift up and pull the knee over. If you get a kind of pain sensation between your groin, that's probably your inguinal ligament, hence inguinal hernias and all that sort of stuff. So lift up the pelvis, bit of rotation, right hand, left knee, or vice versa, and lifting up and you'll bypass that ligament. Okay, otherwise you get that, oh why is it pinch? Nothing crazy, it might be overstretched, not as contracted enough, so you get the general idea. So the arm comes up, grabs the knee, the other arm comes out, and then you look towards the arm. Relax, breathe, stretch, don't hold your breath, knee up, knee down, wherever you want that knee. Beautiful. And then do exactly the same. Again, the other side, don't worry about too much engaging your core because it's not, not that important at the moment. So grab over, look, feel that stretch, and you'll probably see that flexibility coming through again. Nothing crazy, this is nothing revolutionary. Okay, so now it's probably time to do something more different. Again, so then from this position, you can 
is have the feet up in the air, pop your palms on your shins, knee, cats, depending if you've got long arms, short arms, then you can go down, ease that core, and then come down again. This is not all the way up, but you can if you want to, but the key for this one is that slow engagement. Suck up the tummy, squeeze in the waist. Engage that core, three inches, five, ten inches, whatever you want, so come down. But make sure the palms follow the length of the shin, nice and slowly. This is exhausting, by the way, do not get me wrong, this is not easy. Do it once, twice, or just pause it, go for the next part, and skip it out. It's, this is really, it's really up to you what you want to do in that respect. Beautiful. And then if you want to, you can pull it up into that teaser again, or you can just go to sleep and relax and think that this is really hard work. So it's really, up to, it's really entirely up to you. Okay, so now we'll progress a little bit more. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll do two versions of a Le Jack knife. Okay, so I'll scoot down a little bit. So, suck your tummy, squeeze in your waist. We come up from this position, hands here if you want to, hands flat, whatever your ability is to be honest with you. So from this position, legs go over your head. Suck up, engage that core, point those toes, we're coming up. Again, it's not, it's not revolutionary to use your legs to lift up, but it's revolutionary to use your core to lift your legs. That engagement, from, you can be here, here, whatever works. Engage that core, breathe. Maybe just do one, do two, do 15,000. It's up to you now, from this position, point those toes, you can see my core engagement. Then from here, don't be scared, we see, I do my room in my hands so you can see, I'm touching down, back is touching, bend the knees, straight knees, then push it forward into here if you want to, or engage that core, come down, then we can come up into a teaser. Here, hands here, we can come up, control, again, whatever your ability level is, that's one jackknife. Okay, the next jackknife is we can also bend the knees and engage that core, then push up. You can do it with rotation if you want, but you've got slightly, you have a few back issues, you can just engage that core, hands here, hands here, and really push up again, nice and slowly, but really squeezing your core. This exercise is as hard as you want to make it. It's really your choice. You've got to push up again, sink it down, or bend knees, then push through if you want to, or up into the tears. So just look something like this, control, breathe, squeeze, and engage. Nothing crazy, okay? Really simple moves. You'll obviously, you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, within that, if you've got a strap, I'll get a strap. But if you haven't, you can use a tea towel. You can literally use anything. I'll try to be the energy energy, but fail. Cool, okay, so it's good to stretch, work out, stretch, work out. You can see, a bit sweaty. I haven't got a haircut. Ugh, I can't afford one at the moment. <laughs> okay, so here, bend the knee. Pull the knee as close as you can towards um, the chest. Again, alternative, rotate the heel or ankle, pull it again, you'll feel the stretch of the semi-tendinosis, semi-membranosis or the bicep femoris, depending on the angle of the stretch. My suggestion is just try it. Hold 15, 20, 30 seconds if you want to. Now, lift up the pelvis and let the leg go all the way over for the legs. So you feel the stretch through the glutes, through the acetabular femoral joint or hip joint. Also, you're gonna feel it through the ITB band. Think, what is an ITB band? Iliotibial band, connect the hip basically, roughly speaking, to the knee. And then, again, 10, 15, 20 seconds. Go the other way as well. Point the toes, but use the strap or your tea towel to support the weight of the leg, just because otherwise bad things potentially will happen because the leg's quite heavy and we want to give that support as well. We don't want to let it just flop. Okay, beautiful. Then, again, you go and do it on the other side as well. Okay, beautiful. Now, again, suck up, we're squeezing on the waist. We're going up into a tabletop if you want. It's very tabletop -y. Engage that pelvic floor, point those toes. Nice and slowly, the feet can be up in the air, touching our toes. This is quite advanced. So if you want to have a mixture of minor sign of moves, that's fine. Just use what you want and get the best. Make your own workout from these videos that we're going to be up posting. So just do a 20 minute. I like this part. Don't like this part, I haven't talked too much, which is true. But do whatever you feel is the most appropriate thing for you. So arms here. Okay, you can then just drop the legs, drop the low or as Keep them as hard as you can, but do not arch that back. Shorten the ribs to the hips. Beautiful. Then come back as well. Alternatively, you can keep the arms up. Protract to lift the shoulder blades up. Arms come over so you're going to stretch more of the top abs. Beautiful. 
Then come back with 20 to make it more difficult because I know you guys love a bit of difficulty. Obviously, you're not just listening to my voice all the time. So keep that core engaged. You can see I'm slightly vibrating and slightly shaking. I mean, my central nervous system is telling me to do one, but I know you keep going. Beautiful. Now we come back again. Do this one, twice, two, three, five, fifteen, again, fifteen million times. Or modify it. Hurt your knees like that, suck up and then go over. If you want more tabletop, but suck it up and go over. Feel that stretch. But keep that core engaged, shorten the ribs to the hips, just keep that power. Okay. Right, so now we'll slowly wrap up, give it another few minutes and then I'll be out of your face. Unless you want me to keep pressing play, then I'll be in your face all the time. Okay, so now we're going to that figure four hip stretch. I know I've done this a few times, so I might have just to move the mat a little bit. So again, for the figure four hip stretch, the calf, sorry, the hamstring goes over the thigh, not a normal hip stretch like that. The hamstring over the thigh, and then we bring, grab, sorry, both of our ankles, and then bring it closer, okay? To the side, it should look something like this. And you can really bring those knees, relax the pelvis, and breathe, don't hold your breath, you get a lot deeper stretch, again, hold, 10, 15, 20 seconds, whatever you want, just close your eyes, just focus on the breathing, okay? Deep breath in, and then pull those knees a bit closer again if you want to, but this is very much up to you. Again, swap sides, do exact same, just reverse, hamstring over the quad, pelvis up, grab the ankles, and bring it together, but just relax, breathe, if you're right-footed, right side will be tighter. Your left foot, left side will be tighter. It's, that's kind of how it works. Then we'll turn it again. Continue the theme. We're going to a normal hip stretch you guys have probably seen before. So the ankle just above or below the knee, depending on your where you your physiology kind of works, depending on you're looking at the skeleton or whatever. So lift up the pelvis. Window created. Hopefully you can see the window that I've created from this position. Arms come through and then we pull the knee closer. Leg can come up, leg can be down, <laughs> ankle can be up, ankle can be down, so whatever you want, okay? Now we bring that knee closer if you want to. Training elbow, depending on what way long arms, it's not that difficult. You can use that to get that twist and rotation, that elbow in through the joint. Nice and slowly, pull those toes again. Relax, hold, 15, 20 seconds. It's really whatever you <laughs> So choose to hold that stretch for, guys. Nothing crazy, okay? But I'm sure you're doing a fantastic job. If you struggle at any point, um, if you're if your friends on Facebook for me, or if you're John, he'll give you a mum number, or whatever it is, just ask me. I can't do this, I struggle. Send me a video about the struggling and things like that, but we're here to support you, so nothing is a problem, everything's a pleasure. Okay, so now we've done things in our front, we've stretched our back, we've done loads of amazing, wicked, cool things. So now we'll do a few little side bits, okay? So what we're going to start with, it'll be nice and simple, we'll just do the side kick. Okay, so as we've been onto our, onto our back, so it's simply the transition is, this is going to blow your mind, roll it onto the side, nice and slowly, okay? Probably not, or, or should be a little bit more graceful. So hips are stacked on top of each other. Not that, not that. Okay, so just relax, ish, okay? Beautiful, now suck up your tummy, squeeze in your waist, hips are stacked, lift up the feet, but point those toes. But use your core, suck up your tummy, squeeze in your waist, to work those legs. Okay, if your hands forward, this is not a relaxed position. Bring it down, plus it's about being relaxed, core engagement, stretching, breathing, feeling good, concentrating, and those great things. So, you can lift them up, and up and down, nice and slowly. Alternatively, if you're struggling, just engage that core and just lift one leg up. There's no problem, there's regressions and progressions at everyone's level, which is great. So that's why Pilates is so accessible to so many people. If you're feeling strong and powerful, you can lift up, you can pulse both feet up and down, so you're squeezing your waist, so you're feeling, don't forgive my little fat, but you're feeling all that through the internal external obliques, okay? Just through here, nothing crazy. Lift up, the top leg can go behind you, you can pulse that top leg up and down if you want to, or then come back to neutral. Focus on your breathing, squeeze in your tummy, squeeze in your waist. Do probably about 20 to 30 seconds. Do a minute. It's it's very much up to you, so engage that core. Okay, you guys know. Alternatively, to progress it again, arm comes over, you engage in that core, externally rotate, possible for bringing the knee out. 
you can't do that, it's fine. Engage that core, and then we're squeezing, we're contracting more of your obliques, okay? And we're focusing on pushing down, we're engaging, we're pushing down, we're focusing, we're really squeezing, really feeling that beautiful, nice stretch, and then the same pressure we're feeling as the other move I did when I say you're trying to push, so I'm really heavy weight, it's great, oh, tension, so breathe, focus, all this good stuff, okay? Keep that control. Do this. I personally probably do three or four sets between 20 seconds to a minute of each, but do whatever, we'll do five minutes, whatever, five minutes, no problem. Okay, then we finish, we bring our knees to our chest, palms in line, like this position, we open the book, representing upwards, as you can see, and then we can go down, do that nice stretch, okay. Then palm comes up and over again, we bring the knees down, bring the knees up, Straighten the leg, whatever works. In this position, you can straighten the leg, so bottom leg is flat, the other leg's down. Point your toes, see if all the stretch through the hamstrings, not only get a hamstring straight, you're also getting a lower back stretch. God, wow, amazing. My feel a bit of pressure also through um, your TF, or your, your tensio fascia lati, or latte, depending on how great your Latin and how well you pronounce it. Mine's not that great. Okay, beautiful, so you get the general idea. So make sure you do the opposing side, which is also vitally important, okay? Bring it back, relax, a bit nice. Okay, we're nearly there, everyone, don't worry. It's all good, we're nearly there. Feel free to press pause if you get bored, you want a cup of tea, or just get, no problem. So from this position, you can then relax for a few seconds, just pretend all, go back to it again, push yourself up, walk yourself a little bit further forward, so obviously not on the camera, and then now from here, Back to the pose of a child. Okay, now roll back from the balls here of your feet onto the heels. Okay, now push forward, rock back into a downward dog. Drive your heels into the mat. Have the knees bent if you want to, but try to feel the pressure through. As you can see, my perineals running through here get, are very much working. So you're not specifically focusing on the perineals, but it's obviously focusing and working in that respect. So suck up the tummy, squeeze the waist again. Walk your hands back to your feet, come up super relaxed, super floppy. There's my hair's now a mess, and I'm also a mess as well. Relax your shoulder blades, perfect. Keep your shoulders back. Great work, guys. Well done.